Our next guest has made a career out of traveling the world and making people laugh. We love to laugh. He is busy, and now he's back home in Houston to tape a brand new comedy special at the Midtown Arts and Theater Center, or Match. Slade Ham, welcome to Houston Life. It's great to see you. <laughs> it's so good to be here. Thank you for mortifying me, by the way. I've been back there scrubbing my water bottle for 30 oh. minutes. <laughs> I, listen, it's me you can mine. use. Take mine. Please do mine. No, I got mine last <laughs> spring, and I don't think I've ever washed it. So You're I'm just not serious. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the thing, like, you know how you build up an immunity to That's poison or venom? This is what I'm doing with mold and slobber. Same. Same. Same, Someone who same thing. It. Oh, my That's, gosh. <laughs> I'd knuckle bump you, but I know how germy you are. Right. Well, right. We'll you build a super. Yeah. Suits. Okay. So for folks who are unfamiliar, you have been living in Houston for about 20 years. Yes. And you have an unconventional approach to comedy. 200 shows a year mm -hmm. is, first of all, a massive number. But that's a grind. But yeah. also, six of the seven continents, mm -hmm. 58 countries on stage. You've entertained the troops in Afghanistan, oh, literally yeah. being dropped off by a black cop helicopter uh, to do your thing. What made you carve out your own path? It, well, so I've been chasing not having to do a job like my whole <laughs> life. I was in radio in the 90s. I moved on to bartending, just trying to, you try to find your place in this world, figure out what this thing is you like to do. And comedy for me was such a defense mechanism in middle school and high school and kind of my life just being what it was. And you you, you realize that's, wow, I got this little skill set. Let me, let me go try it. And when it works and you turn it into a career, it's suddenly this, this realization that, wait, I can go, this isn't bound, I'm not bound to some office, I'm not stuck in a corner. I can literally throw a dart at a map and find a way to get there. And I've spent a lot of my life trying to just chase those stories and those adventures, and I enjoy the people I meet out there that show me the world's a little different than we know it is here. It's, that's all of that intrigues me. So it's, it's much more fun to be out there in the world than it is trying to make 10 second videos to amuse people. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people see your montage of all the things you've done and they say, wow, that's in, in their biggest, wildest dreams, what they hope to do some of those things mm -hmm. that you've done. Have you always just been naturally curious? It, curiosity is, that's the whole secret. Like it's, I think whatever it is you're into, there's a way to make a living at it. Right. And then once you find it, for me, seeing the world, telling jokes, making people laugh, kind of having an impact, once you figure out that's your thing, it's real, you just make every decision from there going forward, the one that brings you closer to that thing. That's kind of how we got to this special, you know? It's a, I like, I put a big, bold goal up at the top and then I don't look at it for a while. I just start walking that direction and cool stuff happens on the way. And look at us, we're here. Yeah. Well, but what do you think it is inside you though that has propelled you in this direction? Because you're from Beaumont? Yes, Beaumont. Beaumont originally. And so how does a guy, our viewers might be wondering, go from Beaumont to traveling all over the world? A lot of people, Nothing wrong with staying in our comfort zones, right? right. A lot of people want to stay close to home. Right. It, but I get bored. You get, I mean, Beaumont was, I love my little hometown. I grew up there. I owned a comedy club. But man, as fast as I could, I was pushing on the fence of that place and looking for holes of how to get out of what I thought was a prison. It, it's everybody I knew either went to work at the plant or moved off and we never saw them again. That was, that was the 80s and 90s. And for me, I just, the concept of sitting in one place drove me crazy. I had too many things to say. And you can only say them to the same people so many times in a row. So you're like, I'm gonna take this show on the road. And you did. <laughs> and you did. And it's and then you realize 20 years of doing the road is a blast and awesome. But also, I want to leave a legacy and I want to put my mark on the world. And that's what comedy specials do. So, and they're exciting. Yeah. And you you host a weekly Slade Ham exper experiment. Mm -hmm. And what is it? It's uh, the Slade Runner travel series, all kinds of adventures. Uh huh. So I do. I, we look. We all need a. We all need. A release valve, right? If you if these ideas swirl in our heads, sometimes we capture them, sometimes we deal with them, sometimes we make things of them, sometimes we, we don't deal with them and we just keep them in our heads and we get all frustrated, and that's what sends us on the internet correcting the way people spell veer or two or what you know. So yeah. I don't want to be that guy. I want to sit down on, and so every Wednesday a new episode comes out, and it's like 30 minutes of the stuff I'm thinking about or that's got me curious, or I'm kind of just playing with in my head. And the cool part is if you go back and watch those episodes, you'll see a lot of where the stand-up ideas sort of came from for this new show. 
So. Okay, let's okay. talk about this new show. Yes. Because you mentioned leaving a legacy, mm -hmm. taping a stand-up special. Many of us are familiar, whether you're watching them on Netflix or mm -hmm. HBO Max, whatever. So what's the 411 on this special? You are taping here Saturday, August 19th mm -hmm. at Midtown Arts and Theater Center. So I spent the last three years, I've made some films and I've done some other things, but specials kind of had eluded me. So I made one for a really successful comic out of Houston, Jerry Wayne Longmire, who's now, you know, millions of people on TikTok. And then I did one for Andy Huggins, this 74-year-old, he's an old legendary uh, Houston comic. And we managed to get distribution for that, and it comes out in December through Comedy Dynamics. Congrats. So we learned, I learned all these steps and built this team of filmmakers and then I went out and wrote the show and toured on it. And now, it, it, this is it. August 19th, you'll be able to see. It's all brand new. Every joke in this show is less than a year old. So nobody, even if you're from here and you've kind of seen me before, you know me from the improv or the secret group or something, you won't have seen this. It's all, it's the best stuff I've ever written. So now, all that you've learned, you're doing your own. Yes. And you chose to do it in Houston. Mm -hmm. and Wouldn't do it anywhere else. I love that. Because you need something to do with air conditioning in August, and I'm here <laughs> for you, Houston, so you don't evaporate. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It's scooped up by mosquitoes or whatever is happening out there. <laughs> You're just careful. Put your off, put in your this, sunblock on. In this all of city it. that I love. <laughs> and we, we have the event details. August 19th, mm -hmm. it's at um, the Midtown Arts and Theater Center. Tickets are just 20 bucks. They're 20 bucks. We just added a second show. So uh, it awesome. went up, I think, this morning, and it's already sold a good chunk of... I'm, I couldn't be more excited. So uh, if, you, if you haven't seen live stand-up comedy, you have to get what you've seen on TV out of your head. Being in a room is electric. It is the most amazing. You, you, you are vibrating on the same frequency. It's not just the comic, but hundreds of other people. And the stuff we're going to laugh at is absurd. It's not politically polarizing. It's none of that. It, but it is. It's, it's sharp and it's smart. And you're going to leave a little better. All right, 7 to 9 p.m., August 19th. Uh, Slade Ham, it's great to see you. Congrats on the special. Thank and you go so see much. the show because you can be in the room and be one of the very first to see the special before it blows up and goes it's gonna worldwide. It's going to be incredible. Thank, Thank you, you so Slade. much. Thank yes. you. All. Thank you. So you can get a link to get your tickets at HoustonLife.tv. We make it so easy for you. And uh, we love to laugh, so we hope you get some laughs when you are at the theater.